When people have more severe asthma, we know that you really need to see a specialist. We need to get much better at making that initial diagnosis in primary care. And the early referral is particularly important now because we have lots of new treatment. We have treatment options that allow people to live their lives again. When we moved to the specialist, the care was much better there. It was like flipping a coin for me. They listened and they took a lot of tests. After that, we changed my whole medication and it got a lot better. My doctor was very good because when it got to the point where he felt he couldn't get things under control and I was too sick, he sent me to a specialist. I'm so incredibly grateful that now my asthma is so well under control that it doesn't hold me back from anything anymore. On March break, I had three of the grandkids and we were skating and we went to play fit and we went to a butterfly conservatory and I never would have considered going in there before because the humidity would have sent me spiraling. And now I just, yeah, not a problem. I've always loved to sing. It strengthens your lung functions. It's amazing. It's kind of been something that I've been able to do no matter what. Frida is extremely positive. She's not staying at home just because she's afraid. And that's a great way to live. One of the best things about being a severe asthma doctor is we can truly transform lives. If people come back to me now and say, thank you, I've got my life back. I walk my kids to school for the first time ever. As a human being, let alone as a doctor, that's just such a wonderful thing to happen. Before when my asthma was very bad, I was afraid to go out kayaking by myself. There's nothing that stops me now. I do whatever I want. If I want to try something, I'm going to try it. And having severe asthma doesn't hold me back anymore. The greatest needs for people with severe asthma is to be properly diagnosed by specialists. And if the proper diagnosis is made early on, perhaps they won't go through the years of suffering that I did. inhaler because of asthma or another respiratory condition. Tens of millions of Americans use metered dose inhalers. Studies show that an astonishing 70 to 90 percent of the time, inhalers are not used properly. So why is it so hard to get it right? Joining us to discuss is WSJ health reporter Sumathi Reddy. Hi Sumathi, great Hi, to, see nice to see you. Um, studies have found that as little as 7 percent of the medicine is getting into your lungs when used right. improperly. If you're using an inhaler perfectly, you're only getting probably about half of the medicine. So I'm just curious, when you have findings like this, can it all be chalked up to human error, or should the devices be redesigned? No, well, part of it is the device also. Okay. That's, a, that's a problem, too. Like I said, even if you're using it perfectly, you're only getting about 45 to 50 percent of the medicine. Right, right. So that is, that oh my gosh. Well, goodness. look, if you're a medical device entrepreneur, it looks like there's room in this space <laughs> for some new inventions. All right, Sumathi, thank you so much for that's that. Right.